All right, you guys, the moment is here. We are going to navigate over to the beauty salon because Grace's personal hairstylist, Chad, is here and he is going to show us his easy way. I promise it's an easy way to do Grace's fabulous swirl ponytail hairdo. Now this hairdo you can do on Barbie. You can do on any fashion doll that has enough hair to do it. I do not have enough hair to do it. That's why we have not done it on me. Otherwise, I said I wish we could have done this hairstyle on me special for our video. The hair has to be, Chad, how long? You know, just about shoulder length. Experiment. Yeah. Experiment. But you can do this on your Barbies. Especially do it on Grace because this is my favorite hairstyle that, that I have ever seen on Grace. I like it even more than the formal updo because it's just so cute and sweet. And I can just see her just, you know, going to doll club or riding the Metro or even uh, hanging out with her nieces with this hairdo. It is so chic. I love it. Are you guys ready? If you're ready, let me know because we're going to go over and learn how to do this. Hey, Toby, you are a Barbie collector. You're going to love this. Okay, here we go. We're, we're going. We're going over there. What you got, Paul? Nope, you won't be able to do it on her. That's a ruby red doll. We're going to be selling some of those soon. Those are wonderful. So here we are in the hair salon. And hi, Chad. Hello. Hi. You always have a fabulous hat on. This is... This is the, the end result of what we are going to do in this video, you guys. I love this. We have been waiting. You did the exact same hairdo also on this wonderful build lily that we have, except you pulled out a, a little front curl. So we are excited about that. And here we go. Um, just to let you guys know, I did order uh, some bathrobes for Grace, but they're in the mail and they're not here yet. So right now we've got just, we, we have a piece of cotton, you know, for modesty. So Chad, how do we do this wonderful hairstyle? Um, well, uh, the reason why I think Barbie started with this hairstyle is because she didn't have the beautiful hair that this doll does. She, whenever you took her ponytail down, she was bald in the back. Same with Build Lily. When you take her hair down, she's bald in the back. So they had to pull it into a ponytail. And sometimes they made them awfully high, which kind of became a signature hairstyle. Um, she, this girl actually has a part, but I, I brushed it out so that it's real smooth. Because I'm kind of a perfectionist, but it's real smooth and soft right here. Uh, I love it. So you just took her out of the box and which, where's the brush that you use? Just so our viewers can see. I start off with something like this. Okay. Uh, with Barbie, you have to be very careful to hold the hair whenever you're brushing it because you'll pull it out. But this doll's hair is so nice. I still do it anyway because uh, I, I don't want to pull any hair out. But this hair is just amazing. I was telling you earlier, it's like she just got out of the shower with some conditioner. It's soft. Whenever you're brushing it, it just feels so wonderful. Uh, whenever you do go to brush it, it might, you know, if you're just gonna go with a straight brush, it might kind of halt at the end, but it will brush right through. If it doesn't, you can take her down to a table with a towel or whatever, and, and of course I would hold it, but it'll brush right through. So nice. So do not be afraid to brush Grace's hair, no, everybody. No. It's, it will maintain its curl. It will go back to a curly hairstyle after this is done. So do not be afraid. I am so excited about this hairdo. She even just looks great with a high ponytail. Right. And, uh, it, you know, sometimes bigger brushes will work better, but also they may leave these little creases like you'll see the little lines here. So then you can go to another brush. It's really your preference, what you want to do. Uh, but... Uh, so if we want to get the little, uh, you can either use a rubber band or a tie here, but like what we did with the other one is how Barbie was. You pulled actually a part, our little piece out right above her ear or just behind her neck. Um, I like that one to be really smooth also. Uh, you were talking about hair length. Whenever you're doing this wrap around on this, it can, you know, get real short real quick. So, um, the longer the hair, the easier it's going to be for you. Now, the best way to get that up and around through there is with a needle. This is the needle I use. It doesn't have a sharp end. You can get this at a craft store or uh, anywhere. Or you, and you'll also need something like, um, <clears throat> I think it's called a, you know, like a needle threader, the little thing. 
uh, that pulls small threads through. But since this is such a big eye needle and we're gonna grab this hair and pull it through here, which I've already got it rubber band off, I made my own. There uh, you go. This we're, is the way to go. We're all about making our own. Uh, That's like I am a paper too. clip. I am too. So I love it. To grab this hair, I just got a paper clip and went right through and we're gonna put the our hair in there right. and okay. pull it out. Now I could have braided that before and then put it around it, but I didn't have enough time and it would have made just a little braided. Oh, look I love piece. the braid idea. Oh, yeah. such a great idea. Yeah. So Oh my gosh, I love that. There's all kinds of things you can do. So once you got her hair up like this. You can this, even twist it and do like a little yeah, twisty twist. Exactly. Now I got one of these little uh, girl rubber bands on here that I was telling you guys about earlier. Okay, they're, yep, you they're can very, get these they're at very, the dollar store. Right, they, they are hard to break, but um, you can cut them out if you get them in there too tight. Uh, they also come in black and all that color, all those colors and stuff too. But just to make her look silky smooth and shiny, I'm gonna run a brush through here real quick one time, maybe twice. You know, you'll find that people that deal with Barbies, they just brush and brush and brush and brush their hair. Um, so here we go with the hook and the needle. Just gonna put that in there. Now this is kinda sometimes where you need three hands, but we're gonna do it anyway. Um, maybe I skipped a step. Let's go ahead and wrap it around. I skipped a step, sorry. Go ahead and wrap it around. Wrap it around first, okay, yep. before threading the needle. Yeah, uh, you could thread the needle before, but the, like I was saying earlier, if her hair starts getting short, see like it's getting short on me right now? If it's getting short on you right there, this needle is not gonna go all the way around. You're gonna have to thread it after, you know, you've got it, because you're gonna go a complete tie shape all the way around. We'll see then the needle's not long enough. So this is when we're gonna actually hook this hair through here. I'm probably at a bad angle for you guys. No, you're good. But maybe you can see it a little better this way. There you go, thanks for the light. Put that right there. Now practice a couple of times. Like I said, her hair is so durable, you can do this, but you might practice a couple of times. Let's go ahead and hook it through. And I might not even get it on the first try, but we're gonna see what we can do. Come on, girl. There she goes. Got it. Did you get it? I got it. A little strength there. All right. Do you guys see that? It's through. Right on. And now, well, maybe I should have pushed it in. Let me back up. Sorry, guys. I'm new at this, too. I'm gonna go ahead and push it a little ways through underneath all the rubber band and everything and into the center of the ponytail. Um, there's some of you that will know how to do this probably easier than I do. This is just the method I use. Bear with me for a minute. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. You know, the needle is so yes, long. Yes, yes, that, that it, it's hard. Yeah, you, right. you need more gives. And so I'm running need, out of hair. You're running out of hair, you I get it. You ask me if you, I could do this on your hair, no way, because it, your hair is too short. Yeah, I you're would, gonna have my to have, hair would, it yeah, would have to be to my butt almost. Right, you're gonna have to have some long It would need to be as hair. long as Grace's hair. Right, that's right. But I'm, I'm sure you guys see what Chad's doing here. Um, that, these needles, you can just get anywhere, and then he made this little hook out of a paper clip. Right. Now everything takes a little patience too. <laughs> I said this was going to be quick and easy, but. So what he's doing is he's he has pushed it through and he's threading it through. Come on. <laughs> Does it need some strong arming? Well, the other one didn't, but this one's kind of messing with me but it does it give you an appreciation for intricate hairdos for sure it does it really does okay so you thread it through you've got the other side through and here it goes we're gonna just pull the whole thing through i hope you got this on video because i don't know i'm 
covering everything up with my hand. But you guys, I see, you guys know what he's doing. I, I think right. you can see. So he, so that secured it. That secured okay. it, right That there. made a lot of sense to me. Love it. That's what you're into, you in with right there. But then we're gonna go ahead and if we're gonna finish it out, maybe give it a couple of more brushes. Pull it up some. And her hair just goes so curly again. Sit up here, girl. And then we can gather it with a rubber band in the back. And these little clear rubber bands hey, again. These clear ones, you can get it. At, I get them. I get them at Dollar Tree. You guys can get like yeah. a, a, a fifty pack for a dollar. Right. And we're just gonna basically just get all the curls into a bunch. We're gonna push this up a little bit. And I usually spend more time with it because I'm just so such a perfectionist with stuff like this and probably go overboard, but that's just how I am sometimes. Right on through. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. And I would normally fix that myself, but I don't want you guys to get bored with me. Pull that down some. Grace's hair is like the perfect hair for this. It is, it really is easy, a way easier than any of the Bill Foley dolls or Barbie dolls. And then you're seeing where we're finished our, we're finishing our product here. Now, in order to get that stand up and just a little bow in the back, we've got a separate needle. It's got whatever color ribbon you wanna use. I tried to get some ribbons that will match this costume. And the final step is to get her to stand up. And we're gonna go through just the back, middle portion of her hair, if you guys can see. And yep. We're, and we're just gonna grab a little bit of hair back there. Push it through. Pull a couple of those ribbons through. And you guys can use any color ribbons, but I love this combination. It's perfect for her day dress. And you're basically just threading half of it through, so did I lose one? I lost one, but that's all right. I was just gonna I'll just go with the black this time, but you can see what, what can actually the happen. The idea, yes. And then we're gonna get her this ribbon flat this, the way you want. Again, it's however you want it. Pull it up around this rubber band. Oh my gosh, that's how you do it. Chad, get out of here. Tie it in a bow. You guys, how lucky are we to have Chad showing us how this is done. You guys can do this on your own hair. And normally I'd have the rubber band covered up, but right. we don't have three hours for me to be a perfectionist, but <laughs> you get the idea, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. I had no idea. Oh my God. Mind blown. It's your guys' mind blown. I love this. I love this. And of course, here's the finished. Here is a perfectionist version. But I think it's just neat that you can get that hair uh, instead of a bow there, like we've done with Bill Lily up here, because you can't really do it with her yeah, hair. Yeah, you can but, put a bow up there. Yeah, her hair is very fragile. You can see it kind of coming. Mm -hmm. But uh, these dolls' hair is so shiny and sheeny and beautiful it's, that she can wonderful? do this. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, and you can take it out and her hair will be curly again. And yeah. so you don't have to worry. You can do this and then take it out and it's not permanent. But right. I love this. Right, and your preference is you can lower the, the uh, ponytail more to the back and have it more in a traditional Barbie style. I keep saying Barbie, but it's really Grace. It's all about Grace today. Um, but we can have it in different directions. I love it. And we can have it in different heights. If you guys do this on your own hair or on your own Grace, post pictures. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this fabulous hairstyle. And there she goes. Ta-da! She is having the best day at the salon it's so cute and she's going back to this um other things you can do i take vintage stuff sometimes of course this is kind of large but if you want a big old 
vintage pen back there. Oh my gosh, yes. You can do something like that. Yes. Of course, my finger's in the way again. You can just go under that rubber band and clip it with a, like a clip, you know, the old clip on earrings. Find them at garage sales or whatever. And she can have a fabulous... Oh, yes. You guys can go to vintage shops and find these for just a few dollars right, sometimes. Right, right. Or estate sales. Estate oh, sales, Oh, I love especially. that. Oh, my gosh. And that changes it from like a daytime uh, style to nighttime. Exactly. And that's just really cool stuff you can do. It's fun. And the thing is, once you're done, it's something you have done. You've added your own touch to the doll. And it's just, you know, it's not just something you bought and... I mean, everybody has their own bag, but I kind of like to add my own touch to stuff. And I, oh, just, I just think this is the way to go. It makes it a fun and um, it's not too overwhelming. It's just fun. Now we can put her back in her regular costume and get her handbag and get Murr on board. Murray on board. And <laughs> Where's she, our Murray? He's hiding out, out right here, but... Uh, yeah, she's going to be ready to go. I love it. Did you guys love this tutorial? I think that it was extremely helpful. There is the style on my Grace doll. I love it. And then here is the same style on a vintage build Lily doll. So it just goes to show you guys can do this hairstyle on all kinds of different dolls that have different kinds of hair. Build Lily has very thin, barely their hair, and he was still able to do this incredible chic hairstyle. She is slaying. She's, yeah, she's amazing for sure. Chad, you nailed it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing <laughs> us this wonderful hairdo. You're welcome. Yeah. The hat it, does give me confidence. I the think. hat gives him confidence. Yeah. We make sure that he wears his hat. <laughs> and uh, Grace has a personal hairstylist, so it is just awesome. Now, our next installment is going to be the formal hairdo, which we will do probably next week. Right, and that's why I pulled some of this stuff out on the table. Let's look at it. We can show it to them real quick. Those are the curlers that I used for that. Again, that was the first time I ever did it. They're just small curlers. I'm sure you can get them at Sally. They uh, clip up or, you know, you just grab whatever size of hair you want. I would go smaller with these dolls, obviously, because of the scale, if you want it to look right. But yeah, we just grabbed it, rolled it, pinned it, let it set for two days. I did a little bit of steam iron on it. Of course, always be careful with metal products and steam and heat and rusty tools and stuff. But Right, exactly. But you can get your doll. A lot of people have asked great. us where we bought these. You guys, we just found them here at the shop. I have seen them. Let's. I'm trying to see if there's a brand name on here. It just says Made in USA. I have seen these on eBay. You can get these on different doll supply websites. And you can just get creative and use like little sticks or straws are probably a little too big, but you can, right? You can use, like, you don't have to use, have these. These no, are wonderful, no, I, but you don't have to yeah, have these. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff you can use. There's other, you know, rubbery ones that are probably less offensive to a doll's hair, but these just happen to be small enough. But yeah, some people have even used little uh, stir straws. Mm -hmm. um, some people have used regular straws and, and actually put the hair around the straw and then cut another piece with a slit up the side and just made it grab onto it like that so mm -hmm. that it holds. Uh, I've even used just uh, just like a bobby pin, if I'm using the correct term, rolled it up and then wrapped it with foil uh, just to hold it or one of these little clear rubber bands to hold them. So Yeah, so get creative. You guys do not exactly. have to spend more than probably a dollar to, to get the supplies. You probably have a needle this big at home. You can buy these um, really inexpensively just at craft stores. Any kind of craft store has these needles. And then um, Chad made the little threader out of a um, paper clip. Mm -hmm. And then just the hair ties are from Dollar Tree or a dollar store. Right. You know, Goody makes these or right. you know, any, any brand that makes these kind of hair ties. And that's it. This is what she used today. <laughs> that is it. And it looks so chic and wonderful. So thank you so much, Chad. You if you welcome. guys love this, please share the video. This will go on YouTube and uh, the Virtual Doll Convention Facebook page. So you will see it in all, all kinds of other places. And post pictures of your hairstyle in the comments after you guys attempt this. I can't wait to see what you do. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Chad. <laughs>